when you host your website, first thing you need to do is you need to buy a domain name. There are various domain name servers provider such as a good ID, Hostgator, Namecheap and others in the market who offers you a domain name and a very competitive price. They manages the domain which you own and all the management is being done by them. That's fairly easy and fine. Now any man changes, settings or any configuration which you need to do for your domain, you go ahead and make changes to the domain on your domain provider app website. What about if you don't want to manage your Azure application domain from the domain provider and if you want to have a more control from the Azure itself, what options you have? That is something which we are going to discuss today. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryanshi and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss one of the domain management service which is Azure Domain Name Server which is also called DNS. Let's begin. As I mentioned, DNS providers such as GoDaddy helps you to manage your own domain, customize it, configure it and even you can buy the domain, mail server services and some of the other products. For example, I have my own domains here which I have owned it and bought it from the GoDaddy. Now, having domain and managing it from the Go service, service provider like Do, GoDaddy is not going to be a difficult task. The problem we get when you have you are owning a large business enterprise application in, in which you have multiple domains subdomains and then uh, making the configuration sometimes you find it difficult to manage from the domain uh, GoDaddy because you are not managing your own only application domain from the GoDaddy it might possible you are my you require to manage hundreds of domain thousands of configuration settings and all those things so we in that case you might want to separate out the configuration from this uh, domain provider to s somewhere else and uh, and that's where people were asking for do we have any other place where we can manage the domain name configuration and stuff like that and that's where azure help us to provide another service wherein you your domain manager is going to remain same but any configuration you are doing for uh, your domain which you own from your from domain provider such as godaddy that configuration and setting will be uh, can be managed from the uh, service called azure dns so let me help you out what is azure dns so this is a, a service wherein you can create your own to bring your own domain name server and then you can map these domains from your actual domain provider so for example i can uh, go ahead and create a do domain of my choice when I say uh, create a domain of my choice, for example, if I create any resource group, first of all, it is going to ask because it is a service, it will ask me for DNS. So I, I'll call any name basically my DNS, something like that. This is my resource group, and then I can create any resource group. So uh, the, the domain name, uh, ideally, we should be creating the domain name same as. The name of the domain which i'm owning from my domain provider so let's say for example I, if i have a domain name or the domain uh, provided by godaddy uh, which is akashwani.co.in then this is what the domain name uh, service name of which i'm going to give it here so once you get, give a domain name uh, here create a resource and then your resource will be created like that which I have already created just for this demonstration like I have created this domain name services so you get the full flash settings uh, configuration view here uh, right here in Azure which you can manage but obviously by creating the service itself it's not going to work as is because how your domain provider will know that the same domain is going to be repli is required to replicate it in Azure right it has to set up the trust relationship between your domain provider and azure 
DNS zone. So this is just a DNS zone. So to provide a trust relationship, this is what uh, we are going to discuss. How do you do that? So to set up a communication or the trust relationship between your DNS zone, which is created in Azure and the domain name server, which you own from your domain provider, such as GoDaddy, the, what do you do is you go to your domain provider. So if I open my domain provider, when you buy a domain, then uh, default DNS configuration looks like this. So this is my DNS uh, provider configuration for one of my akashwani.co.in domain registries. And that is the configuration which I'm looking at it here in the GoDaddy. But now if I want to manage the same domain from Azure, then how do I do that? Is if you look at carefully, it has uh, several configurations like name name servers, some of the CNAME mappings, which is related to my domain, which is domain and subdomain, and then uh, a main record entry point, which is the, the default value which I have it. And it says that the primary name server is this. But now, if I would like to change the uh, management of this domain from GoDaddy to to Azure, then what do you need to do is you need to change this name server values. And how do you change the name server values? You change it from here. If you do, scroll it down and then look at this here on the GNOME server, you have option to change the same name server value. So you need to change this value from this is the default value and you need to change it. So if I go and click here and enter my own name server in advance, and this is where you can add your own name server values. So what do you need to do if I go back to my Azure? So all these values, four values, which is including the dot. So if you look at ns-06 dash dot azure dash dns dot com and then dash at the end. So you copy entire value. Make sure you are including the dot as well. And then once you have the value, you just provide the values here in these. Value. So all four values you need you need to enter it like this, and then you, once you enter it, you you just go and save save this particular value, and value will be available. So once you save that, the your entries will be saved like this, which I have already done for my one of my DNS zone, which I uh, one of my domain name which I have owned, and after that you. If, if you change the default DNS configuration, you get the this particular message. We display we can't display the DNS name because now your domain is managed by someone else. We are not the owner to manage your domain, right? This is how it's going to replicate the configuration. So now all the management of your domain is going to be managed from here. So whatever things you could do over there, such as if I go back to the configuration here and let me revert it back, whatever things you require to do for, for example, let's say for my domain name, I would like to add any A record, C name record, TXT or any other type of record to manage my domain thing, which I could have done it right, right from Azure. You have the record set and then you can do all your domain name uh, configuration such as uh, record management things you can do it from here i'll show you one of my domain name configuration which i have already done so i i own the domain azure accent and then these are the configuration which i have already done for uh, one of my website that's that was about the service dns zone and once you set up that you would be able to manage all your domain right from here. So similarly for each domain, you can different services and you should be able to manage your domain itself. I hope this is helpful and you would understand that how do you uh, get use of the services called DNS zone. We also have a service called the private DNS zone. So if I go back to the service and then search for private, DNS, then you get the private DNS zone as well. So once uh, the use of the private DNS zone basically is you, I'll show you the use of the private DNS zone is you uh, you map you your private endpoint, which is a private IP address, to a specific domain name, and then uh, your private 
TNS zone can be mapped to a specific virtual network. I'll show you how. This is my private DNS zone application configuration. Here I have created a private DNS zone configuration. And to do the private DNS zone, you don't need to map the uh, DNS zone to any of the domain name provider. Like in what the difference between the private DNS and public DNS is the DNS zone, which is your public DNS zone, has to map to your actual domain provider, whereas the private DNS zone basically is linked with your virtual network. So any entry or the configuration which you are making it, for example, any A record or uh, C record type which you are adding it here in the private DNS zone, it will be basically going to map to any specific IP address within the virtual network which this private DNS zone is linked to. So same private DNS zone can be linked to multiple virtual networks. So whatever virtual network you are mapping to, it ha it, it can be managed from this virtual network link here right from here okay so this is all about the, uh, the two different type of dns zone i hope this was helpful if you like the video enjoy the content please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends thanks for watching it